Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Guys, it is time to unbox another Finch knife. Now this one is the brand new Finch Cimarron. Now I have not opened this box. I have not, I mean I've seen pictures and stuff like that. But I have not opened the box and I have not looked at it up close as of yet. Now if you remember, the holiday just came out last month in December and actually as of today January 11th the Cimarron just went on sale at the Finch website so finchknifeco.com now I'll leave links and everything down in the description of course but I am super super excited I mean I've got the whole Finch family out there we're gonna welcome it we're gonna welcome the Cimarron <laughs> to the family, but I'm super super excited because you as you guys know Finch knife won my best new knife company of 2020 and I've loved everything they've done the Runtley, The Runtley, the Takuna, the 1929 and the holiday and this one looks like it's gonna be another another very very Nice knife, so I'm gonna get the box open here these box these boxes are tight so, okay, very cool. There you go. They've started doing like the specific, the knife specific sticker. Love it, swag. Yes, yes, thank you. Ooh, we got the Finch sticker, very good. Warranty card, of course, always good. And of course, they throw in a Band-Aid because well, obviously they know me, so. No, but yes, Spencer from Finch. Oh, look at that. Man, that's blue. Spencer did send this one along to me. Very, very generous of him to do that so I could unbox it and show you guys. Super stoked that it arrived today, the day it goes on sale. No, oh, we're going to wipe it off real quick. Sorry. It's got a little bit of oil on it. We're going to wipe it off before we show it to you. My goodness. All right, look at that. Wow, that is a brilliant, brilliant blue. Whoa, look at that green. <laughs> Holy cow, would you look at that. Wow, you know what? This is actually the perfect knife for the Pacific Northwest because that kind of blue and green, that's kind of the whole Seahawks, uh, Seattle Sounders type color. So, man, I, I have a feeling this knife might... If I show this knife around in the Pacific Northwest up here, it, it might do fairly well <laughs> just on color scheme alone. People are like, oh yeah. Very, very I like the pot I like the shape of the pocket clip. Oh man. Now, before I open it, you guys have seen the pictures. It the inspiration, that's one of the big things about Finch, is the inspiration for their knives. This knife is inspired by the wind farms, the giant windmills, you know, the, the wind farms that you see. And just from the pictures, I definitely, definitely got a feel for what they were trying to get across. So we're going to flip it and we're going to see. There it is. It is a flipper. Yes. Yes. Kind of a low profile flipper. Not bad. I like it. I like it. Mm. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh my good. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now see, <clears throat> excuse me, I got all excited. Ooh. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those huge windmills at the wind farms, but that blade shape right there, it's so, so almost, it's so close to what the blades on those wind farm gigantic windmills look like. Oh my goodness, 14 C28N. Oh, you guys know I'm stoked about that. One of my favorite, favorite blade steels right there. The Cimarron. Oh, man. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Get it unlocked. Got to get it past the detent ball. There it is. Ooh. Got to get it past the detent ball. There. Woo. Okay. <laughs> It'll drop once you get it past. There it is. Wow. That is just a brilliant, brilliant color on that one. 
Now they do have, they have this blue and green. They also have uh, three other color combinations. They have the gray and the yellow, gray, gray with yellow liners. They have a black with gray liners, and they also have the dark green with tan liners. Let's get a first. Oh, man. I, man, I don't know what it is, what Finch does, but, well, yeah, I do. I mean, they had me from the get-go with the Runtley. I mean, knives patterned after a fishing lure. Yeah, I was, I was hooked. And they've just, they've just continued to put out really, really good-looking knives. And you know what? I am super super excited about this one as well now i'm not a seahawks fan but i know plenty of seahawks fans around but this one this is definitely this one definitely screams seahawks up here wow or sounders too seattle sounders very very cool there's the shield is it a let's give it a check we'll light it up I'll get the light over here so i don't blind you guys yep it's an illuminated shield. Very cool. They've done that on a few. Not on the 19... At least the Cocobolo model of the 1929. It's just regular... Regular kind of inlaid shield. Man. I'm digging it. Golly, I'm digging it. Yes. Yes, I am. Now, first impressions. Is it going to dethrone the holiday? The Rutley probably was my favorite... The, oh, the 1929 is such a beautiful knife and that Cocobolo, though. But then the holiday come along. And I just, I love, I don't like white knives. Not crazy about it, but man, this white oxbone holiday. Yeah. It, it, has, it has definitely surpassed the Runtley probably is my favorite. It's just everything about this knife I love. Will the Cimarron dethrone... The holiday. That yet that is yet to be seen. But man, I love it. The slender, the slim, little pokey stabby. You know, Casey, nice fast. He likes when I say that. Little pokey stabby. It's definitely definitely got a little pokey stabby to it. Man, another. I tell you what, I think it's gonna be another good one from Finch. That's just my thoughts. But Spencer, being Spencer. The absolutely awesome dude that he is, Spencer from Finch Knife Company. I love that. I love that they do the knife specific stickers. Um, he sent me something a little extra. And when I was talking to him, he said something for me and maybe something to, to give away. So I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to show you the back. Now, it's not a Cimarron, but it's a 1929. In crawdad tanned jigged bone. It's a newer, one of the newer 1929 models. So I will show this to you real quick. There you go. Same fair. Got the 1929 sticker. All the other same fair. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Oh, guys, the combination of modern and traditional that these guys pull off. And would you look at that oh my goodness that crawdad tan jig bone oh would you look at that little guy now i'm not going to play with this one too much because hint hint you might see this one again fairly soon but we're just going to take a quick look at it wow nice that is an excellent excellent combination of traditional and modern right there I, oh, wow oh my goodness man would you look at that is absolutely gorgeous 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 knife i'll hold it up next to the cocobolo there i still love that cocobolo though yeah it does look like this is an illuminated shield as well but very very cool thank you so so very much spencer like I said, guys, keep your eyes open. You're going to see that one again probably real, real soon. Guys, thank you so much for checking out my first impression of the Finch Knife Company Cimarron, the newest knife on sale now at the Finch Knife Co. 
dot com website and I'm pretty sure it's on sale a few other places as well traditional knife company probably Atlantic knife I think carries them check out your favorite retailer and see if the Cimarron see if they have it but thank you so so very much guys as always like subscribe leave me that comment you know I love talking to you until the next time I'll talk to y'all later bye bye